Welcome back to Springfield. Folks enjoying the party on the inside, doing a bunch of tailgating. Always a big weekend of racing here at Springfield. Let's go to Victor Lane, meet our Heat 2 winner. He ran you down under green, baby. Yeah, he ran me down, and uh, I was going to go go try to pass him back down the back straightaway, and because uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to draft him at the line. I hadn't got to race with him all day, but just stayed patient, held back, and uh, was able to pull off that last second draft of the line. So it's uh, it's not going to be easy by by any means, you know. It's uh, main event's going to be wild. Uh, there's a lot of guys going fast, and uh, it's going to be crazy. Here's a lineup for heat number three. That's Mies on the inside on the number nine. But Scott, also keep your eyes on the rider in those green and white leathers there, Henry Wiles. He's on a Kawasaki. He's a pretty strong competitor. Yeah, he's got a great starting position right here in the middle of the front row. Couple of riders balked back there in row number two, but we're off and racing, and it looks like Mies going to jump out into the early lead on that Harley of his. Looks like everybody got through there clean. Just trying to fall in line right here. You don't want to get too high out of that groove before you lose position. So keeping it pretty much in that dark spot is where you want to be. And that, that groove's not that wide when you're running this fast when you're looking at it. Willie McCoy on the 59 goes right to the top. He's going to take the point position as we come off of four. Wiles is in third. They're already getting a little bit of a gap on the 61 right there. Dustin Crow running in fourth. He's dropping back already. These top three are hooked up. Back onto the front straightaway. McCoy out front. Wiles in second. Mees holding down third. Jared's wife actually competing here today as well, Nicole. Yeah, you can see the 17 get a little bit out of, out of shape right there with the 9 be able to capitalize. And Mies looks down the inside, makes that move, Ralph, and now can he do anything with the leader? And Dustin Crow on the 61 has moved into fourth. He's trying to catch these guys. He's in that final transfer spot out of this heat. He's running in a good spot right now because he's got a nice little gap right there. He's got the 91 back behind him, one spot out of it. Mikey Martin, who's actually on a Triumph Bonneville. Mies is looking pretty good right now. He's really closed the gap on him. Got a great run. He's going to make that same move he did on Henry Wiles. Made that look really easy and just keep it real low, right on that low line on the dark, close as you can to the rail. And just kind of pole hug it. You don't want to open up the door and let him come up the inside. As you watch these guys coming off the corners, too, the thing is, Mies' bike looks pretty solid. It does. It looks real solid. McCoy back to the inside and back to the front. McCoy on the number 59, HD of Wausau supporting him. Halfway. Just keeping it really clean and super smooth through these big long corners right here. That's key right now is too much to all the backing steps out a little bit and just, just find that little bit of throttle trying to keep the thing moving forward but in line so to speak. Oh and Henry Wiles. Coming back up with this group. Looks like he's going to make a run here at the finish of this one. Getting himself in a position. This 140 mile an hour chess match. That these guys play out on this mile dirt. Here's Wilds inside of Mies. Takes over second place. McCoy's just doing a nice job out front right now. Just, just being super smooth on that Harley right now. And these two guys racing back and forth. You can see that gap's grown a little bit. He's got a little bit of breathing room. That should close up as they go into this corner right here and they're right back on him. Don's Kawasaki back in this EX650 that Henry Wiles is riding. Here's the two to go sign, green and a white. Wiles looking inside. Puts it right up in that blue groove and takes over the lead. That's how you do it at the miles. You just get that little bit of a draft, just running in there a little bit deeper than the next guy. But the key is not to run it too deep in there and run up off that groove. McCoy and Mies trying to get inside of Wiles. McCoy will get the job done. 
but will he be able to defend it now? Right, he's going to want to win this heat after leading most of it, Ralph, right here, and he's got his work cut out. This is going to be white flag for him. The triumph is moved up to fourth with one to go. Oh, and look at the battle for the lead as we go down into turn number one. Coming off the corner, we've got a new leader. It's Jared Mees out front. Wiles tries to go inside, coming into three. Oh, that was a nice move. He just pushed him out a little bit. Now, can he keep it smooth enough for Mees to be able to draft back by him at the line? Oh, look at the Cowie dance around a little bit. Mies's bike planted firmly. Here comes McCoy. It's going to be Wiles at the line taking the win. A great win by Henry Wiles. And Scott, that's two out of three heat races going to Kawasaki. I'm right, looking good for those guys. And coming off that last, off of four right there, that seems to be like the place to be. You can still win it from the front. We'll be right back for more Speed Sport from Springfield. Race fans, whether you love dirt, asphalt, two wheels, or four, you need to be Speed Sport equipped with cool t-shirts, awesome caps, and great Speed Sport swag. You can get your limited edition merchandise now. Just go to nationalspeedsportnews.com, click on the store link, and start shopping. Throwback tees, shop racks, and everything you need to be ready for the races. That's nationalspeedsportnews.com. Click the store link. 